In this video, I'm going to talk about nested ifs, that is, if statements within if statements. I'm going to write a program that will help its user to choose a pet. I'll start by welcoming the user. And then I'm going to ask a series of questions to try and pin down exactly what kind of pet this person needs in their life. Notice that my question includes the possible responses that I'm looking for – yes or no. It's a good idea to test your program as you go along, a few lines of code at a time, otherwise you might end up with a lot of bugs at the end. It's easier this way. So let's save it and give it a test. So far, so good. Now I'm going to use an if statement to deal with the user's response. Notice how my messages include three little dots, which means that there's another message coming. I want this to feel a bit like a conversation, so what I'd really like to do is have a delay between these two messages. I can do that using the time.sleep command, but before I can use that command I need to import a library. I'll talk more about libraries another time. Suffice to say, importing a library gives me lots of extra commands that I can use in my program. Import time at the very top of the code. That makes the commands available, and the command I want is this one. Time.sleep. The number in the brackets, in this case 1, is the number of seconds that I want to pause for. Let's see what happens. See, there was a slight delay there. Perhaps I could go for two seconds. Now, before I ask those extra questions to find out what kind of pet this person wants, let's deal with the no response. So if the response is no, well, live pets are not for you. Think about getting a rock. Now I also want to put in a message for somebody who doesn't type yes or no. Stick to the script, please. Right, so let's test it again. And again. And I should probably test the parts of the program that were working before, just to make sure I haven't broken them. So far, so good. Now, if the user has said yes, they want something that they can love and care for, I'm now going to ask some more questions. So I'm going to use another input statement. And now for another if block. So, if the user has said that they might forget they have a pet, 
then we're not going to give up hope. We can ask them how long they might forget for. If the answer is no, they're not going to forget that they've got a pet, then we'll do a bit more digging and see what kind of pet they're interested in. And of course, if they type in something which is not yes or no, then we have a default response. We're just going to ask them to stick to the script again. And that'll be the end of the program. This if block is inside another if block. It's called a nested if. And you can see that this will only execute if love and care equals yes. Something that's very important when you're using nested ifs is that you get the indentation right. Notice that this word if lines up perfectly with this elif and with this else. This word if lines up perfectly with this elif and this else. And notice that these three lines of code are indented. The indentation and the layout of your code is really important when it comes to Python. If you find you're getting error messages when you run it, or it doesn't work properly, then I suggest you double check your indentation. It needs to be neat and tidy. OK, so let's test it again. It seems to be working fine. Now let's do some more nesting. Right, so if the user thinks they might forget that they've got a pet, we're not giving up on them straight away. We ask them how long they might forget for, days or weeks. If the answer is days, well, they can have a goldfish. If the answer is weeks, I think we're back to the rock. And then, of course, if they don't answer days or weeks, we ask them to stick with the script and the program ends. Thinking about it, I don't really need this sleep command unless I'm going to have another message. Now I have an if block nested inside an if block, which itself is nested inside an if block. When it comes to nesting if blocks, the layout of your code is very important. It must be indented correctly. If you find your program isn't working properly, it may be that you just need to check your indentation. Keep your code neat and tidy. Not only is it easier for you to read and see what's going on, but it will also work properly. Let's add one more nested if. If the program gets to this point, we have somebody who will love and care for their pet and somebody who won't forget that they've got a pet. And there we have it, another nested if. Now I've got three levels of nesting here, but you could go much further if you wish. Just because you don't forget about your pet doesn't mean it has to be a cat or a dog. Maybe you could be asking more questions like, do you like furry animals? Do you want something that wanders around the house? Do you want something that looks after itself? It's up to you. Let's give it a try then and see if it works. That seems to be working fine, 
But if you think about it, there are a lot of ways this program can run. We say there are lots of different execution paths. And it's important that when I'm testing a program like this, I test every execution path. So I've got a little bit more work to do to be absolutely sure that it's OK. Why don't you try writing something similar yourself?